If you were in charge of Brazil, what would be your policies? Everybody has to come to Brazil. And what if I don't? <laughs> SpongeBob! It's too late. He's Brazilian now. Not that I don't love the cursed biofacts, but do you have any blessed biofacts? Yes, I do. Hyenas can loaf like house cats. <gasps> oh, babies! Okay, goat, I got a job for you. Make me anxious about furries. I mean, not to offend furries, most of y'all are nice. Okay, so imagine Five Nights at Freddy's. One of the animatronics is just a person dropping in from a furry convention. Oh! So, uh, <laughs> this is how I found out the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics contain the corpses of murdered children. <laughs> huh. You just, uh, you're all really just out there playing a game that's, uh, where, where that's the canon lore. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Duh. You all finally broke me. Holy shit! FNAF, how the fuck did you break gold? If you read something in P.M. Seymour's voice, it becomes, like, ten times funnier. I've been doing this all day. My mom gave me a banana. Did you see that cow? Yeah, I don't like scarecrows. You know, the worst part is, is I hear it, and I know which voices to use. And I did. You're fighting over the ponytail Zuko discourse, but let me introduce you to the cursed concept of pigtail Zuko. Oh, hate, hate this! Today, I learned that Van Halen have that rider in their contract about a bowl of M&Ms with all the brown ones removed, in order to know at a glance if the promoter read the entire contract. And the reason they do that is because they once had a stage collapse because a promoter hadn't read the proper way to set up all the specific technical stuff. So if the band goes in the dressing room or catering and sees brown M&Ms, they know they have to double check the stage setup for safety. Yo, now that's rock and roll right there. Okay, someone who has never watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, explain this. I love you, Sally. Aw, oh, that's so cute. Also, I kinda turned into a demonic rock star halt when people hug me, but that's okay because- Wait, what? I love you too! <laughs> I mean, it's not that far off from what might actually be the truth. Your belly button is just your old mouth. I was having a good day. We were all having a good day. 99% of the time I see a cat, I just have to like drop whatever the hell I'm doing and acknowledge that there's a cat and say hi to the cat and walk up to the cat and try to pet the cat. Yo, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, that's some big Seb energy you got right there. Don't ever. Call me OP. You will address me by my full name. Oh, yes. Obert Pobert. When your straight friend about to do something stupid. Hetero, don't! Hetero, don't! Hetero, don't! 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 I had a dream last night that Mothman was getting sued by the state of West Virginia for accidentally breaking light posts, and he hired me as his lawyer. And in court, I was like, now, my client is a giant moth, so you can't blame him for loving lights. And halfway through my speech, I turned to address Mothman and saw he was bumping into courtroom lights and they broke and caused a power outage. Happy Pride Month to my favorite piece of official Sonic the Hedgehog art. If you're homophobic, you don't understand what Sonic is all about. It's about friendship and justice and being free to be yourself. Open your heart. Live and learn. That's what Sonic the Hedgehog is about. Today's headline. Sorry I didn't respond to your text. I get overwhelmed by simple tasks. It's okay. Me. Constantly. My college doesn't allow us to carry pepper spray for self-defense because they claim it's a weapon. And it is. But I'm at a culinary school. Every single student is carrying several hundred dollars worth of knives around with them, and they teach classes on how to break down whole animals easily with said knives. But no pepper spray, because no, 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 no way, that's too dangerous. Also, I can attest to this fact as a former culinary student, those knives are so sharp, you don't actually feel when they cut you, because pain is felt on rough edges and not extremely sharp edges. So, yeah, fucking pepper spray's bad, right? 
I'll have you know, I am hot. Hard to love, obnoxious, and terrible. When I was in preschool, there was this really weird system of timeout where they'd put you in this giant plastic bucket, sort of like this one. And the rule was, you couldn't leave the bucket for 10 minutes. Weird. In case you didn't know, I was what the teachers referred to as a difficult child, which is code for walking entity of sass. So I was in this timeout bucket quite a bit. Once they put me in the bucket for 30 minutes, and I thought that was incredibly unfair. So I grabbed the handles and shifted my body repeatedly until the bucket and I were out of the classroom, in the hallway, and through the front door. They found me in the parking lot scooting to freedom in the timeout bucket. My teachers were furious, and I said, hey, I never left the bucket. So they called my mom and told her what I did, and she just said, well, he never left the bucket. Me brewing some loose leaf tea. The part of my brain that is point zero zero one second away from going completely feral. Eat the leaves. Eat the wet leaves, dumbass, do it! Some edgy loner character in a TV show. Do you know? Do you know what it's like to be afraid of yourself? Me, thinking about that time I ate an entire family-sized bag of Doritos in one evening. God, dude, I sure do. Year one of mental illness versus year 10. And I'm gonna tell you guys, at year 20, y'all basically just start making fun of your mental illness. Like, anxiety would be like, man, I don't wanna get out of bed today. And you'll just loom over like, I don't wanna get out of bed today. Get the fuck out of bed, bitch. We got shit to do. The year is 2023. Marie Kondo holds Jeff Bezos by the skin on the back of his neck in front of a public gathering. Does this spark joy? She shouts at the restless audience. They boo in response. She snaps his spine like a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil lead and throws his lifeless corpse into the crowd. They cheer in response. Please tell me this is our timeline, please. Please, please give this to me. I introduce you to the concept of Schrodinger's teenager. A person between the ages of 13 and 18 is simultaneously just a child and also a grown adult, depending on how mad an adult is at them. Why is this true? All right, so out of curiosity, how do we activate Yellowstone? By Yellowstone, do you mean the super volcano located under Yellowstone National Park that has the theoretical ability to super erupt and destroy the majority of animal and plant life as we know it? Yes, how do we activate it? Okay, first, you need a paperclip. Today's headline, nearly a dozen earthquakes shake near Yellowstone National Park in 24 hours. Congratulations, Goad. You did it. What? What? I posted this 30 minutes ago as a shitpost. What the fuck just happened?